Hickok 45 here and John Hickok here. All right. What are we doing with our backs to the targets? Is that safe? Uh, I was planning on shooting, you know, try, working on my shooting behind my back. 22 yeah. plankster trick shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot an aspirin off the whatever back there. Yeah, I think so. Off of that, uh, that pig's head. Right. Now, it's good to see you all. Uh, you know, y'all look y'all look better when we're looking at you through the camera, don't you think? Yeah, because it's more of a distorted image and you're, a lot, you're all a lot smaller, you know. Yeah. That's how we would prefer it. You look smarter, too, when we're looking at you through a camera, but... Uh, no, we hadn't done a, a, a vlog, as we'd like to call them, to irritate everybody uh, yeah. recently. So we, we thought we needed to, wanted to uh, just bring some things to your attention if you weren't aware of it. Uh, mainly what's going on you know, right now, of course. Uh, you know that things are kind of crazy in the country right now after the, the horrible school shooting in Florida. And there's things going on with YouTube that we just feel like you, uh, if you don't know about it, uh, and I've had a lot of questions about what's going on, what our thoughts are on some of it, so we wanted to kind of touch base with you today. Think we can touch base with them? I think so, because not everyone follows us on Facebook and different yeah. Instagram and social media and stuff, so we want to make sure everyone kind of yeah. knows our, our take on it and how we feel about it. And that's a good point, you know, because a lot of people, they're searching for guns and, and they've never even been to the home channel page. Mm -hmm. And they kind of know us from having watched maybe several videos and, and some just from watching one or two. Uh, but they don't they don't maybe see these kinds of things as much or have not yet uh, new subscribers and and just don't know uh, as much about what we're up to, and what we're about. But right. But anyway, we wanted to touch base with you and uh, just, uh, you know, this, this horrible shooting in Florida is, is beyond horrible. There's really not words. The English language is, is pretty, uh, pretty amazing, but it's, it's difficult to, to come up with terms to, to uh, describe, you know, something like that. Even your feelings about something like that after it happens. I remember Sandy Hook, you know, mm -hmm. it's almost beyond description, you know, and I'm sure it is for the people directly involved uh, more so. But you know, when you, you, you your brain almost turns away from it because you don't want even to imagine it. You know. Right, and also with you know, modern society and technology and everything, it's like you, when these things happen, you find out about them immediately, and you know about all the details. But mm -hmm. there's still that weird disconnect where you necessarily didn't know the people, and it's somewhere yeah. you know another state or whatever, and it's and it's your brain struggles to kind of understand it or you know, the decide how you feel about it. And it's, just, yeah, it's a very strange, yeah. terrible situation that unfortunately has been happening yeah. ever so often in this country yeah. lately. Kind of related to your own experience sitting in school or being in a, in a school building or a classroom, and, you know, which we've all done, right? Many, many years and hours worth. And, and I was a teacher. If you saw the Facebook posting I, I made recently, that was one of the points I made having taught for 29 years you know and then of course been a student for so long you'd think I'd be smarter by now wouldn't you <laughs> but uh than I am but you know it's just oh when I'd go into school ever since Columbine especially you know I, I didn't fret about it I didn't lose sleep over it but you couldn't help think about that possibility you know the, the possibility the potential for that sort of thing happening and it was I don't know it's just a, a strange thing to have in your mind occasionally you know and and lock the door the classroom door and, and be we didn't do a lot of drills we did a few my last few years of teaching but we had a plan you know the old classic lockdown plan which i never really liked but you know it's like what do you do i was on a second floor you can't climb out the windows very well and right. is that the right thing to do anyway and just the fact that you even are talking with the students about it is kind of a weird thing yeah, i had a big closet behind my desk and uh, that was one of the plans, you know, everybody to go into the closet. And then I uh, would just kind of be on the lookout. And it, it looks, I was supposed to stay in the room with the door locked. And that was supposed to. And, of course, I would have stayed to, you know, watch the kids. You know, I wasn't going to veer off and run down the hall. Uh, but I did have a, an aluminum baseball bat. I think I showed that to you on top of yeah. the bookcase. Uh, that was there supposedly someone had just happened to have left that in my classroom right I didn't know it was even there but it was an aluminum baseball bat strategically placed uh, you know not my preferred weapon if something like that went down but but anyway you know having been there uh, and all of us have, have been in classrooms it's just a horrible thing to imagine 
Not our viewers, they're not very educated. Most of them haven't been. Well, they've not been in classroom. <laughs> I, I forgot, I forgot our audience. They've, most of them have never been inside a classroom. <laughs> yeah, otherwise they wouldn't watch us. So. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. But, but it's rough when these yeah. things happen. And another thing mm -hmm. too, that, that for us uh, gunners or uh, gun people, it uh, makes it especially uh, strange, not because I don't know another way to put it, is because when you hear these things happen, you know, mm -hmm. at least for me, I'm not ashamed to admit it, my brain kind of immediately goes, oh, gun control, here it comes. Yeah. You know, before you even have a time to kind of... Kind of grieve about it. Yeah. yeah, or understand what's going on or, or just see it as the tragedy that's happened. You see it as, mm -hmm. oh, this thing happened, so now gun rights are going to be under attack again. That's unfortunately mm -hmm. the reality they were faced with and have been faced with you know, many times. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is a bad one yeah. in many ways. Very bad. It's kind of, a, I think, a cumulative effect. You know, it's uh, Sandy Hook was about as bad as it can get, but it, and but it was. It's I think it's the cumulative effect. It's like, right. oh no, not again. Didn't we stop this somehow? Right. Haven't we had a plan for this? And that, the Vegas one being so bad. Yeah. And then this one happening not too far after. You know, it's especially yeah. yeah. And of course, the Vegas thing was is. I guess it's in a different category in a lot of ways. It's such a bizarre thing. We still don't um, have, have, have details. We don't even have details really about uh, that one yet. Well, yeah. Um, and, it, and that's another thing is of For course. For that reason too, yeah. Right, you know, they're, they're piling on uh, the gun control of course now, and of course the bump stock bans, you know, now are coming through. Uh, uh, Trump is, is trying to do one. And you know, as far as I understand, there's no bump stocks used even in the oh, Parkland shooting. And it hasn't even been confirmed necessarily that bump stocks were used in the Vegas shooting. Exactly. There's not even any say. details about it. Ironically, there's no proof that one's ever been used on a crime. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's just more of the same stuff we're used to seeing where, you know, you got to, you got to, a, a quick throw a band aid on it, at least is how they're looking at it, you know, throw something yeah. under the bus. And, uh, it's exactly. A shame. And yeah. as you're saying, you don't even have time to. I mean, you want to grieve with those people. I know we're not really grieving, but you know, all over the country, all over the planet, when you see something like that happen, you hear about it and how horrible it is. It's just, you can't help it. Just, you know, there's a connectedness there. Right. You know, you want to connect and, and uh, because it could have been you or me. Mm -hmm. And that you don't, they don't have much time for that. No. Nope. Because, you know, before the ambulances leave, uh, politicians are out there you know using that as a great uh, cause and agenda to, to yeah. further their agenda which they did right on schedule right and yeah. you know they have an assault weapons ban you know in a yeah. glass case in their office breaking oh. case of shooting you know boy, um, boy they're boy. ready they got they got the plan they're ready to go and it, it apparently is gonna be worse than the the last one you know that actually was in effect for what ten years right and it was bad uh, I, I have a feeling this one will not have a, a sunset clause if they were able to uh, to get it out there, put it that way, and right. it's going to include all lots more guns and right. You know, they'd like to include anything that's semi-automatic, of course. Oh yeah, uh, and, and ultimately, what's going to happen is we're going to we and don't take this as a relax. We have we have to fight really hard, just like we did yeah. after Sandy Hook, and we got to mobilize and do the rallies, whatever we got to do, whatever we have to do yeah. um, to to stop these things. To stop these bills coming through, any new gun legislation. That's why um, we're here today, talking to you. Right, yeah. but anyway. you know, ultimately, again, don't take that. This is what I'm about to say is, a, you know, to make you relax. But ultimately, what's going to happen is we're all going to be fighting over gun control. Mm -hmm. uh, very little will actually happen. Probably something just to just to make us angry. Uh, nothing substantial. And then meanwhile, these shootings are going to keep happening because nothing is actually being done about the shooting. Yeah. As we all know, the gun control is is not the answer. Even if somehow, hypothetically, let's say it was the answer, well, it's going to take a long time because people like us are going to be fighting against yeah, right. it. It's going to yeah. take a long time for that to happen. Meanwhile, nothing's being done. Nobody's going to give up the Second Amendment without a fight. No. Uh, so it would <laughs> you'd be looking decades, centuries, perhaps. Right. So yeah, yeah that was my point. The Facebook posting, especially the, it's it's sad that while. While politicians argue about gun control and AR-15s or whatever they were semi-automatics, then uh, nothing's getting done in the school buildings. Although I, I lately I've heard some governors' talks and different things, and there are some. Uh, the governor from Florida, of course, he was just saying this morning or earlier today that uh, he is that all this money is going to school security. I think immediately, and they're going to have officers in mm -hmm. in uh, like every building or every school. I mean, they're they're doing something right now, 
and that's what needs to be happening everywhere. Some some real solutions, and right. we all know, you know, all of you, even if you're 16 watching this, or 15, or 14, or 12, you could make a list of what you would like to see in your school, uh, what you think would help. You know, have someone here or there, or armed teachers, whatever you think. Uh, I mean, you could make some great suggestions. You know what would would help. You know, it does take a genius to figure that out. Right. And and this mm -hmm. uh, the thing that's different about this shooting is there is kind of a uh, okay, this is enough kind of feeling. Yeah. You know? And yeah. a lot of people are using that feeling to okay, we've got to finally ban the guns, right? And that's yeah. a lot of what we're seeing. But like we were talking about earlier, earlier, um, you know, I'm kind of hoping that people will realize that mm -hmm. this okay it's enough is enough meaning you've tried to ban guns for how long yeah it's clearly it's not going to happen or not without a huge fight that's going to take forever like let's actually talk about something we can all agree on because I, I don't think the anti-gun uh, people really have that big of a problem with putting security guards at least security guards mm -hmm. in schools other than the fact that they see that as a way to not ban guns that's you know? yeah that's a lot of you're exactly right uh you can tell there, especially the first week, there's a lot of resistance to, to the folks. Uh, I hate to use the term left or the liberals or the, the anti-gunners anti mainly because there's yeah. a lot of left people and liberals who who are pro-gun. It's just this. Right. So I excuse me if I throw out a term like that because I, one thing we try to do is is uh, is not exclude people from the channel. You know, right? It, look, you know, if we excluded people, they'd be pretty hip hip hip. What's the word? We'd be uh, hypocrites. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hypocritical. <laughs> and uh, because look at us, right. goofballs like us. Uh, but we'll exclude the anti-gunners. <laughs> yeah, we'll exclude about them. them. <laughs> but yeah, some of it was just so they didn't have to talk about it. They didn't want to talk about guns. you know, uh, right. Or they, they wanted to talk about guns, so they didn't want to talk about school security or metal detectors and things right. like that because that takes the conversation away from banning those evil firearms. But right. I don't know, I see it changing here in the last few days. I hope I so. Uh, and yeah. the, with the arming the teachers thing, to me I see it as two separate things. You've got armed security, metal right. detectors, that whole thing, and then armed teachers, which you know, I think we yeah. both would support armed teachers in some yeah. way, shape or form. But yeah. you know, the people on the, there's that word trying to come out, the, the anti-gunners, yeah. You know, they are terrified of the idea of armed teachers. I know. So that's one of those things where we go, oh, okay, for now, let's sort of meet in the middle on that. The compromise, it's a ugly word, right, in the in gun world. <laughs> but, okay, armed security, for now, armed professionals, you know. Yeah, uh, whoever that might be. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe that could, you know, teachers yeah. could be the same certification or something. But I agree. Ar and armed I, professionals, metal yeah. detectors, and start from there. And, and I, yeah, people have asked me about this armed teacher business, what my opinion on it. And, and that's one thing I wanted to talk about and, and again of course the reason we're here today especially is it's kind of a call to action you need to be calling representatives and doing everything you can because you know what's happening around YouTube the uh, channels are being shut down their their strike is mainly strike based which of course shuts down a channel and you know like uh, Tim from military arms that got a couple strikes in a hurry he shut he closed his videos down to private because one more strike and you're kind of out or you can right. be out and uh, 22 planks or same thing. Uh, Hank Strange and I don't know. There are other bunch of air right. gun channels. And, well, and some backs are people who don't understand yeah. anything about any of that. Basically, the way YouTube operates, yeah. there are certain community guidelines which are just, I mean, vague doesn't even begin to describe how yeah. vague it is. Yeah. And if they think you violated one of those things, they can give you a strike. Mm -hmm. So they have a strike system in place, which three strikes and they're out. How original! Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. like you're saying, these channels have been getting strikes. Um, you know, we aren't 100% sure why or where it's coming from. It seems awfully random, but uh, it but, happened after the Vegas shooting. Yeah. So we know that there's a connection and they want to silence us. Yeah, so. exactly. We got one last week and we got it uh, repealed, but we could get two tonight. You know, it, it just, that's what's so random about it. It's not like, uh, it's such a weird system because it's, if, if someone tells you, Let's say you are a student now or, or you're working somewhere and say, look, if, if you're late on another time, then we're going to have to you know, cut your pay or something. If you're late additionally after that, you know, this is going to happen. Then if you're late a third time, you're fired. OK, so you make a decision. All right. I don't want that. I don't want my pay cut. I don't want to be fired. Certainly, I'm going to get myself in line here. 
it's not like that. It's it's uh, the strike we got was on a five year old video. Go back and look at it. It was black powder versus smokeless powder. It was comparing a couple of cold single actions and different powder. You know, I mean, it, there's no rhyme nor reason, and there's nothing offensive about the videos, uh, and that's the same with everybody. Air gun videos, mm -hmm. so so it's it's nobody can figure it out. But anyway, everybody's at risk. We could be off tomorrow. Uh, I mean, literally, yeah. and because uh, that's what's happening, and. Uh, for that reason, you know, we're, that's one reason we wanted to talk to you. you. You can always reach us, of course, on Facebook. We post, we have a lot of you are there, uh, Hickok 45 and Sun channel. And uh, of course our website, uh, Full 30. It could be that we're just on Full yeah. 30. Hickok45.com. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's not we, just called website. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we could be at, at Full 30, you know, uh, doing our videos. And well, like we do now, we post them there first, you know, and then we post them on YouTube. It could be that that's the only place to see them in a month. I don't know what's going to happen, and that's that's okay, you know. But we'd well, rather be on YouTube also, right? And that was one thing I wanted to bring up because we always get this question or comment when we talk about this: is you know, why don't you just say you know get off of YouTube? You know, they obviously don't yeah. want you. Well, um, I, I understand that sentiment obviously because they do seem to attack, especially conservative content. But YouTube is is the big show, you know. That's where everything is. That's where everybody. That's where you is. found us. And um, you know, it, it's it's important for um, you guys through people like us and all the other gun channels or other, you know, mm -hmm. channels that do things you support to be able to have their voice heard on YouTube in front of this big audience. It's it's super important. So until they they will literally have to drag us off. Yeah. You know, for us to go away on YouTube. Yeah, we'd rather be there. And so, you know, lots of ways that we can stay in touch with you. We're going to, in light of all this, we're going to finally take your all suggestions and open up a uh, Patreon account. Right? Yep. And we'll have more information on that. We may do that this week. But uh, we're not going anywhere if YouTube does close us down and others. You know, we're going to still be out there and doing videos. Right. The same thing we've been doing. It's just, it'd be unfortunate. But, but like John said, we're going to stay on YouTube as long as we can. Okay, so you know where to reach us and where we're going to be, because uh, again, it's really weird. It's it, it could literally be overnight. You, you all have seen the channels close down. It, it's weird. It, it really is. We're not, uh, you know, we're not special. I, apparently, they don't they don't they don't care just because we got three million subscribers. You know, we got a strike. We could have gotten another strike before that one got repealed, and because everybody was getting strikes random videos and if we had gotten one more strike before that one got repealed last week we wouldn't have been able to post for what two weeks yeah for two weeks you know, can't post you know and if you get a third one you're gone so it, yeah. it's rather arbitrary but uh, anyway yeah it's very frustrating and uh it's mm -hmm. it's unfortunate that um uh, that whenever these 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 things come up you know when gun control is all over the news and everything you know, it, it, it always feels like it's not a normal political debate or discussion. You mm -hmm. know, the uh, the other side, I feel like, attacks us in such a back, backhanded yeah. way. Uh, I don't know, almost like we're promoting violence or something, or we're just some sort of fringe mm -hmm. group that's to be eradicated. Know. You know, a bunch of racists or something. You know, the way we're well, treated. It's, it's like it's, you're KKK or something. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not, you know, we're not treated by the other side as just people who disagree and have a different yeah. uh, viewpoint politically on the issue. Um, it's really frustrating, but you know, it 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 further uh, cements my beliefs, at least, when you see how um, the tactics that they use. So. Yeah, and it's gotten worse over the years. I've lived through a lot of these cycles with various things, and it has gotten worse. I don't need to tell you that uh, people are more uh, divided than they've ever been. I know we hear that all the time. It is really so true. Uh, everybody. I don't know, they, they latch on to their group. I don't know, I think we're less divided. Uh, I think we're more divided. <laughs> they're, uh, didn't get my joke. They get into their uh, echo chamber, wherever that is, you know, and whatever the, that little world is, and it just they just feed on each other. We all do that to some extent, but uh, we try to be more open-minded. I, I don't want to change the, the folks on the other side. I don't want to silence them. I just want them to leave us alone and do what right. we do, you know, kind yeah. of kind of thing. But back to guns, uh, guns, teachers uh, and armed teachers and that kind of thing. Uh, uh, just because I was a teacher doesn't make me an expert on that. I think, though, the the fact that I've been around firearms a lot uh, gives me maybe a little more expertise. Uh, 
And I, I taught in just a couple of different schools, but I taught over a long period of times from the early 70s up and uh, I took a break for 10 years, but then I taught up until five years ago. So I've taught through a long span of time with a lot of different people. And, uh, you know, I can see why it's, it's kind of a scary thought when people bring that up sometimes. They're, I know what goes through some people's minds, depending on where they went to school and who their teachers were. The like arming teachers, oh my God, Miss Wilson with a gun, you know, my, my old English teacher with the blue hair or, or whatever it is, you know, or my French teacher who was clueless, you know, she could barely find the classroom, you know, you're going to give her a gun. She kicked me out one day for, for nothing. Uh, so I'm sure that comes to people's minds, but uh, you all know, you had some teachers, I'm sure, who were pretty sensible. And in recent years, you probably have some teachers who are pretty sensible and who have carry permits. You don't even know it. And you may, or you may, you know. Uh, and I'm not going to get into the male-female thing because, you know, a lot of, a lot of female teachers are, are packing heat these days. And, of course, men teach. And so it just kind of depends. Uh, every teacher would need to be armed. But I, my estimate is at least, you know, what, 10, 20 percent of, of almost any school you'd go into. And there'd be exceptions. They would be teachers ready to do that and go through extra training. Ironically, where I taught uh, my last gig as a teacher, there was another fellow, I guess I won't mention his name. He was an author, uh, wrote about firearms and different things and primitive firearms. And uh, he came out here and shot one day. We, he taught, I don't know, three, four years there with me. And he was in a different building, but he was extremely proficient with even modern firearms. I was very impressed with how well he shoots. And uh, we were both in the same school. And that was just two of us. And there were a lot of other people who uh, would be, I think, good with firearms there. So it would not have been a problem. I would yeah. trust. It's not like you have to be a Navy SEAL, all right? You just need to be safe primarily with a firearm. A teacher would need to be very safe. Uh, wherever it's kept, the firearm, it could be unloaded even, as long as you could get it loaded fairly quickly. But it's not one of these deals where we argue about whether you should keep your gun hot or not, you know, on your side. You get one in the chamber or not, or you really living dangerously if you don't have a round in the chamber. Yeah. I don't think that's as much of an issue there. You could, I, I was telling John earlier, if I were a teacher and I was armed, I'd, I'd want to, I'd, I'd probably even want to strap over the thing, snap strap at least, and nothing in the chamber. Maybe the magazines, even in my other pocket or something. You know, I mean, you're around kids all day. Uh, that would not be a big problem. We just need safe teachers armed, and then they need to be fairly proficient and then, you know, well trained. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's. Yeah. That's. Uh, that's what, just what, my opinion, but. Yeah, and I, you know, and I agree. I agree with that. I don't, <coughs> I don't think yeah. that's uh, that out of line to do. I mean, yeah. teachers are people, and people are willing are able to carry guns. It's just a matter of um, how it's orchestrated and how it's done. Uh, that's that's why I say start with start with professional security first. Yeah. You know, and then on a state level, you know, sure, if you want to have teachers armed, but as far as on a federal level, we've got to have at least security guards in every school and then go from there. Um, I don't and know, schools maybe, are already doing it around yeah, the country, they're Ohio, to, Texas, you know. So yeah. Uh, yeah. We could also, you know, one thing I haven't heard anyone bring up is more defensive-minded classroom pets. Like, you could have, like, mountain lions and, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, attack dogs and different things like that for classroom pets. Yeah, that's right. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> And, uh, and, and again, you know, the, the people who, who go into schools with firearms, they're not looking for a firefight. It, it's, granted, you, you'd have to act. You know, that always crossed my mind. You know, I had in my mind what I would do, and you hope you can follow through with it if something happens. If I'd had a gun, I know I could have, but a, a shot in their direction so often, you know, they're going to be going the other way or commit suicide or leave yeah. or go somewhere else. You know, they're not, they're not there uh, on, a, on a mission, you know, to, uh, to take out a certain individual somewhere. You know, they're, they're looking for easy targets. So, and, and the other thing is you hear about teachers, armed teachers. And I've heard, I heard this back after the uh, theater shooting at what, Aurora, wherever it was. Oh, and, I know yeah, <laughs> last thing I want is some little old lady you know, firing off her gun from the back and hit me in the back of the head and, and getting shot and bullets going everywhere. What do you think is happening? The only reason we yeah. even want people armed to to take action is because bullets are already flying yeah. at us. It's already know? as dangerous of an environment as it can be. I mean, 
I mean, that's, that's just so stupid. I'd rather be killed by that blue-haired lady in the back than this idiot up front, you know? Yeah. No, another thing, too. I'll take my chances. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, people yeah. act like somehow yeah. if you have a gun, your uh, your self-control changes or something, Yeah. too. You know what I mean? Like You, you become a, stupid. You know, yeah, it, uh, that's another thing that's crazy. Yeah. You know, teachers, I would hope, would have some of the best self-control of, of anybody, so... Yeah, it, it's a last resort thing, and then and then too. But the biggest thing is a deterrent. You right. Know, if uh, you know, they know, I, I heard uh, the governor, I guess, from Texas talking today about so many of their teachers are armed down there, and then somebody else was talking about how they have a sign out front. You know, staff is armed here. You know. That, anyway, that's kind of my take on it. I I don't wilt and cry at the thought of teachers having firearms. You know. Right. As, uh, but at least at least armed security. Um, yeah, and we've got to do that, and and but you know right now we've got to we got to fight for our gun yeah. rights. Um, you know that's got to be our. That's I right. hate to say it, but you know it's got to be our priority. We can't we can't lose our gun rights. Um, yeah. Obviously, you guys know it's incredibly important. Um, Make your calls, and then and, and again, as we always say, join the gun rights organizations. Of course, the NRA we say first. Join whatever you want, yeah. but uh, support. You know the cause because and i've seen a lot a lot of emails lately or a lot of messages a lot of people are joining and uh it's it's it, this has gotten everybody's attention right okay now this is not a you know a call to join the nra necessarily you know that they support us we support them i've been a member for 45 years there's the speaking of a divided world there's a divided world now even amongst shooters to some yeah. extent let's not ha let's not have this competition yeah. between the nra and the goa it's crazy we need, we need both of them yeah. you know it's we gotta we gotta put a stop to that and i've told you before i'm a life member of, of both and and others and and uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta stop that. It's mostly yeah. a virtual fight, you know. You hear on the internet and that kind of thing, but it's uh, it's we don't need that either. We yeah, don't we don't it. have the time for it right now. No, you know? we just don't. People think they know the inner workings of these organizations and, and uh, just make judgments based on very little facts sometimes, and you know none of them are perfect. It's it's funny. People are just looking for a reason to hate. It right. seems like to me. And, well, and, and I'll say this: this is kind of like one of my things with the NRA. I, I, like we say, they're not, we're not they're not perfect. You know, we support joining the NRA. We don't support everything the NRA does or everything that they've ever right. done. Absolutely. And the comparison that I like to make, maybe it's not the same thing, but America as the country. I'm a patriotic guy, but they do a lot of things. Yeah. That, have done a lot of things that are that are very wrong and still do things that I don't agree with, but you don't see me going to Mexico. You know, I'm, I'm invested. <laughs> hey, why you know? don't you, man? Nah, maybe I will. <laughs> It'll be warmer. But uh, I, I, that's the way I look at it. I'm, I'm invested, yeah. you know, in the NRA. I want I want them. They're a huge voice, and we need them. Yeah. Who's uh, who? Who are we? Who's everybody talking about today and, and the last week? And, and right. worried about. They're worried about the NRA. You know, stopping the gun control. Yeah. 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 It was, I've said before, it's, I've, I've worked for probably five maybe different companies, taught in a couple of different school systems, and uh, wow, I, I could have picked apart every single one of those companies uh, and been the most negative person I wanted to, I, you can imagine. Uh, same with the school systems. There's all, they weren't systems, they're were private schools, but I mean, there's always the negative, there's always the positive. There's, anything run by people is going to be that way. Right. It's just that simple. Everyone doesn't agree in a company. Yeah. You yeah. can't even get four people together in a band that agree. You know, think yeah. about it, you got hundreds of people involved right. in some company. And then, too, when you got one force out there primarily trying to hold off the other force, and, and any time they're, they're not successful, then it's, hey, that's who you blame. You know? Right. Uh, so, anyway. But, I, but, again, this isn't all about that. But, but support uh, whoever you think is going to use your money the most wide, wisely and then make the phone calls and then uh you know on the internet too there's so much we can do in social media yeah uh, just in terms of making people aware of what's going on right and and yeah. and you know do you know i wish i had more we had more information to tell you guys about it uh but you know keep an eye on these what's happening with youtube you know yeah. with us or the other channels mm -hmm. um you know do what you can to to support them in the ways that they need you know they can they can tell yeah. you of course better than than we can yeah, because uh, that's important. We can't be silenced. Um, yeah, they're trying to silence. Uh, it, it's hard to figure out where it's coming from exactly. I, I, yeah. It, yeah, it's just weird. It's it's so random. Yeah, uh, but it's it it's very powerful because it doesn't take many strikes to put you right off. 
uh, right. YouTube. And, and as we know, and you know, mm -hmm. said the conspiracy theory, uh, you get considered a nut job for saying it in certain circles. But we know that I won't even say liberals, but the at least we know the anti-gun crowd tends to run the media. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. <laughs> you know the little pockets of resistance that we have. You know, we can't can't yeah. give that up. So stay awake, stay alert, and uh, you know do what you can. Like I said, we'll we're here. We're on Facebook and uh, the, yeah. you know the other channels, and we're going to set up a Patreon account. And it's not going to be complicated. You know, a lot of you have asked us to do that. Uh, one to show support. Uh, we're going to do that, and we'll communicate through that. We'll communicate through Facebook, uh, however we have to. You know, yeah. in, in all those all those ways. And and we we uh, we try to stay in touch. You know, I I answer a lot of uh, messages. And, and uh, we do a lot of videos, but uh, yeah. we like to do gun videos. And we do. Be we don't like to do about this, this kind all of stuff. The time. Yeah. <laughs> and we've done it, and uh, it's a crazy world. It is. It's a crazy world, and uh, we we appreciate your all support. You know, because it's it's funny. I'm I tend to see the glass half full, and but something about the internet sometimes you it's really easy to, to fall into a negative uh, frame of mind if you're not careful because you're seeing all this this stupid stuff out there right you know and some of it's coming at us or coming at whoever you know you get some of it but it's just this little bitty sliver you know of the of the whole package yeah and uh, you guys we run into you all the time of course and we hear from you all the time and you know you we know you support you know what we do and uh, it's, it's really appreciated and it, it makes that other little infinitesimal percentage you know uh, bearable i guess yeah yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah it does so i mean you all know if you work with the public if you if you if you ever worked in a mcdonald's or something if you've ever been exposed to the public all day long at anything uh no you know so i ain't too bright myself john will tell you that <laughs> but man there are some stupid people out there aren't there yeah <laughs> there are some rude people yeah there are some stupid people there are some people who live their lives based on fantasy. You know, I mean, there's just a few of them out there. And, yeah. uh, they... It's like, a clo you know, we'll close <laughs> on this. Think about what the great George Carlin said. He said, oh, yeah. think about how smart the average person is. Now, keep in mind that 50% of everyone is dumber than them. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> George had a way with words, didn't he? Yeah. Our audience is in that upper 50%. Oh, you know? Okay, okay. So they're smarter than average. Well, we just wanted to let, make sure y'all are aware, all of our viewers, what's going on, and uh, do what you can, and uh, we'll stay strong. And and you know, and again, uh, gosh, I know you all sympathize with those folks in Florida. It's it's a sad thing, and I'm not going to say against those young people in that school. I know they're they're all very active, and 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 it seems like they're all anti-gunners. You know, I don't know where all that yeah. came from all of a sudden. But well, you guys know how it works. Yeah, there's nothing even needs to be said. <laughs> If you're watching yeah. this video, you know how it works. So, 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 we, but we don't want to badmouth those kids. They've been through a tough time, and and they're and they, young, and, they, and they're kids. And, the and, yeah, day, they're kids. You know. They're teenagers, and they've been through a horrible experience. And uh, so, we're not going to criticize them for their politics, you know. But but we are going to resist any efforts to to uh, infringe upon our rights. Yeah. Put it that way. So. Yeah. And it's coming. I mean, uh, the, oh, the yeah. attempts are coming. So, so get ready. You know, the the assault rifles ban, the magazine capacity, all that stuff is going to be out there. They're going to try to get it all on the table. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know, the, so. And I do want to say one last thing. I know we've been talking for. I can tell we've been talking a long time because I'm getting I'm freezing cold. <laughs> because like literally the temperature has dropped since the video started. Um, you know, and, and you guys do you know whatever you think is best on the in this regard. But it's my opinion. Uh, that you know, I don't think it's good to get caught up too much in the semantics of all the pro-gun arguments. You know, at the end of the day, we need, you know, they call them military-style assault weapons to try to shame us. But that's exactly, really, in a lot of ways, what's what's what they are. It's what it's why we need them. That's what you want. You know, if we, you're gonna have a Second Amendment. Yeah, yeah. The, the the military has civilian-style assault weapons, whatever you want to call them, rifles. You know, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason that we need them is because. Uh, history is littered with uh, stories of genocide and uh, oppression and people being enslaved and governments taking over mm -hmm. and you know we can't allow that to happen we can't allow ourselves to be vulnerable to that I, I don't care how many people want to call it a crazy conspiracy theory that they want to be short-sighted and ignore the uh, the past uh, we can't allow that to happen uh, we just can't mm -hmm. it's not even an option and and that's the way I take my my pro-gun arguments I don't care about your stats or 
this or that or what state does this or that. I mean, I don't care about it anymore. It's just, that's what matters. We've got to we got to stop them and not let them yeah. uh, take our guns. You know? yep. Second Amendment's there for a reason, and uh, yep. what John's talking about wouldn't happen overnight. But that that slow process could right. get started, though. You know. Yep. So, anyway, uh, uh, what else did we want to say? Uh, Anything intelligent? I don't know. I can't think of anything. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm just trying to think of something stupid to say, just so you'll know it's me. Uh, Metallica is doing another North American tour. I'm excited about that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't wait to hear something? that. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Hank Williams Jr. going to open for him? Uh, uh, actually, I've heard Jim Brewer, the comedian, is going to. Oh, open really? Him, uh, Barry Manilow, or uh, uh, probably. Yeah. yeah okay. Willie Nelson. Now that would be a fun show. Oh, Willie Nelson it? and Metallica. Yeah. There you go, Willie Nelson. Willie the character. Yeah. You so, got, uh, you got any other news or anything? No, I guess we'll let you go. We just uh, probably t yeah rambled too long. Just wanted to, to, to remind you of these things that are going on. Most of you already know, and just do what you can and uh, and uh, keep yep. abreast of things. Uh, don't don't uh, don't wilt. I guess, and it's easy to do that. You know, when something this tragic happens. And to rethink, I had someone write me on Facebook uh, last week. And, you know, Hickok, help me. I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about, you know, selling my AR-15. You know, it just it kills me when I think about what happened down there and everything. And you know, and I think a lot of people might entertain thoughts like that for a moment. You know, if if you're a human being, that's not all that that crazy, maybe. But uh, you, you, I told him, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd wait a week or two, you know, think about things. You know, I, you, can, you can assign all this meaning to a firearm, an inanimate object. Uh, you know, it's easy to do, whether it's a Mauser, you get some of the German guns or Nazi mark, you know, rifles and things. People make comments mm -hmm. about that. At the end of the day, it's an inanimate object, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, and at the end of the day, the Second Amendment is pretty important. Yeah. So. So we'll end on that because uh, life really is good. It is.